Hello everybody, we are back here on Way of the Hunter. Since we haven't really done a full Red Deer hunt here on the channel, I decided that today was going to be the day that we do that because I have spotted a relatively large Red Deer up in these trees a little bit further. You can kind of see his tops right there. This is a four-star mature, and actually it looks like there's another one near him that I haven't been able to spot as well. Maybe if we're lucky, that guy will be a four-star mature as well. Because we managed to get a pretty big Red Deer a couple days ago, and I really want to get another one to go with it, and I'm hoping that one of these will turn into a five-star giant. But let's go ahead and kind of glass around here and see if we can spot all of them, as there is definitely a couple that we might want to take out right now, and then a couple that, we'll, that we will probably want to uh, let grow. As it definitely seems like there is two absolute giants in this herd, and in fact, that guy is a four-star mature right there, and I believe that this one is as well, so maybe we've got two chances here to grow a five-star giant. It's starting to look like we might. And since I always get quite a few questions about where I am hunting on Way of the Hunter, since the map is so huge, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. So we are actually down here by this campsite in Lalele Fields. And also in order to get access to Lalele Fields, you'll need the Aurora Woods Pass, which it's kind of confusing that it's just called the Aurora Woods uh, Private Pass, but it also gives you Lalele Fields, and this is actually the area where I've been finding most of my good Red Deer herds, and you can get it by completing the missions given at Carta Tosku's Cabin. It's honestly a really easy set of missions, so it's relatively quick to complete and unlock, and I definitely recommend doing it as this is some of the best Red Deer, Fallow Deer, and Roe Deer hunting in the entire map. I am almost completely convinced now that there is two that are at least four or five stars. And honestly, the one that I'm looking at now is definitely looking very old, as if it could be a 5-star. That one is a 4-star, and so is that guy. We have two 4-star Red Deer in the exact same herd. I'm going to let both of these grow, and we're going to hopefully have ourselves a 5-star the next time we come through here. But we did get a 5-star the other day, and we're going to take a look at that right now, and then we will continue on this hunt and see if we can manage to turn both of these into a 5-star as well. So I recently started looking for Red Deer on Transylvania, and I found a four-star mature in this herd right here. I let him grow for a little bit longer, and well, now this guy is officially a giant five-star, and though we can't actually see it at the moment, he is in these trees, and we're going to take him down. That is amazing. This will be the first five-star stag that I will have ever taken down. Uh, we ended up getting a four-star at one point, but... Now we will finally get to take down a 5-star, and my gosh, I am incredibly happy to have one of my favorite species in the game as a 5-star. This is going to be one of the most amazing trophies that we have taken so far on Way of the Hunter. There's also two 3-star matures and also a 2-star adult, which is really good as well. So we're going to let those guys grow, but we're going to take down this giant 5-star the second he gives us a shot. And there he is. Just look at that beautiful stag. What an absolute monster. And honestly, this guy has some of the tightest tip-to-tip -tip spread I've seen of any of the five-star stags that have been posted by people, uh, and along with the one that my wife ended up getting during early access as well, this guy's definitely much tighter than all of them that I've seen. So this is actually going to be pretty cool to take down, as he looks way different than any of the ones that I've seen previously. There's also something up here. I think that might be a stag as well. I want to get a good look at it to see if maybe that guy is a giant also. Uh, it's looking like it is just a female, so that's a little unfortunate, but we still got this giant five-star to take down, so let's get lined up and wait for him to give us a shot and then take him down. And for those of you that are concerned about uh, what area we're in and maybe want to hunt here yourselves, we're clear over here in Lalele Fields, over by this campsite. This area has been very solid for red deer and fallow deer for me pretty much any time that I've gone here, including early access and the full release. It seems like it's just a very solid spot to go to hunt them. And this is the first 5-star Red Deer I will get to take down. I am incredibly excited as this is my favorite species of all time in pretty much every game that I've ever played. And in real life too. I just love the way Red Deer look and uh, how majestic they are. And we're finally going to get to take one down once he gives us a shot. There he goes. He's finally getting up. Let's hope he will turn broadside. There's also a 2-star Mature up there that I would not mind taking out as well. If he gives us a shot, we'll take him too. But this guy right here is definitely the main target, and my gosh, that guy is just beautiful. This is truly an incredible looking stag, and honestly, the more I think about it, the more I want to get close to him and actually get a good look at him with the photo mode. Well, unfortunately, they know that I'm here, so I don't think we'll get to do that. 
Which is very unfortunate. I mean, the wind is in our favor, but they already noticed that I'm moving towards them. And I'm still like 160 meters out, which is very unfortunate. So I doubt we'll get close enough to take a good picture of him or get some good video footage of him, but we can at least take him out right here. But the question is, would that branch right there, or I guess that tree, block our shot? It's very possible as there's been many issues with trees blocking uh, different uh, angles and the shots that people have taken. And I don't know if I want to risk that. I've had a few of my own shots blocked by trees as well, so I uh, just don't know if I trust that. We're going to try and move a little bit further this way. Maybe go into a slow crouch and see if we can somehow get to an angle where we have a perfect clear shot that can take him out super quick. Well, here goes nothing. Let's try this shot right here. It looks like the tree did indeed block our shot. Well, that is incredibly heartbreaking. I don't know how long it's going to take to get him now. And that is why I typically don't take shots through the bushes in this game because stuff like that tends to happen quite often. I know that they are in the process of tweaking it, but it doesn't take away the fact that it's still very frustrating. Hopefully he'll give us another shot, but I feel like we're going to have to stalk after him now and that's going to definitely make it difficult. Though that's him right there. Maybe if he stops up here we can actually take a long shot and... Oh my gosh, he actually did stop up there. We might be able to do this still. We might actually still be able to do this. Provided we can get the proper shot lined up on him. We could totally make this. There we have it. That's him right there. And he's actually giving us a pretty clear shot. We can finally seal the deal, I think. It is still just so unfortunate that we weren't able to do it back there. But I think this is going to be a little bit of an easier shot than what we made at the river once he kind of gets into this little clearing right here actually he's gonna move even more further to the left so I think we're going to have to move a bit but we got plenty of wiggle room here we can kind of move up at least another 50 or 60 meters and hopefully get a clearer shot it's just been so up and down with the way this guy has been behaving and the stuff that's happened and now these trees are blocking me from even crawling through here which is unfortunate you know, it's crazy how when you spook something out of a zone in this game, they kind of just hang out in the tree line near. I've had this happen many times, and this situation is no different. That's our guy right there. And he is just not wanting to come out into the open, which is very unfortunate for us, but... I think we should still be able to get in, provided we move a bit to the right, and that looks like a clear angle right there. We finally did it. We got a solid shot into that guy. I knew right there I didn't want to go for a spine shot or a hard shot. I just wanted to get a quick double lung in there to guarantee that we'll get him down. And that seems to be exactly what we did. That is definitely a good vital hit. In fact, that seems to be a ton of blood. So medium amount of blood with air bubbles. Definitely going to be good enough to take him down, but... Since that was the 308, it's going to take him down a little bit slower than what we're used to with Red Deer since I normally use the 300 Magnum. But he sh still should go down relatively quickly and I think we'll probably be able to find him uh, within at least 100 meters. At least with this guy, the blood trail is super prominent and easy to follow. And that way we don't have to worry about losing it because it's very, very thick, which is nice. It's always good to see a ton of blood whenever you take a shot on a giant stag like this. And there he is. <laughs> We finally have a view on this absolute giant. My gosh, that is such a beautiful sight. I'm so happy we finally have a big stag down. I was not able to get a 5 star during early access and we finally have done it. And honestly, I'm glad that I didn't get it until full release because now I can actually keep it since we did start our account over uh, to kind of be on the same page as everybody else. and. Let's go ahead and jump into photo mode, which for those of you that did not know, you can actually press P to jump into photo mode without having to go into the menu, which is kind of nice. It's definitely good to be able to do that, so let's go ahead and get a quick shot of this guy. There's going to be some really cool angles that we can take here, and I think this is going to be one of them right here. I love the way that looks, although 
We might try to get a different uh, lighting as that was probably not the best time to take it. There, that looks a little bit better. Big fan of the way that this looks right here. So let's go ahead and back out and claim this thing. I can't believe it. We finally got a five star stag and honestly, this is a rack that I've never seen. I've never seen a rack that's this, I guess close on the tip to tip spread. Very crazy, but let's see what the score is. 464, so this is actually the lowest they can pretty much get, which is crazy. I guess we could have probably let him live a little bit longer, though he was only a 90% genetic, so I don't know if he would have got much bigger than what he is now. Regardless, this is incredible. I'm so happy we finally have my favorite animal in the entire world as a 5-star. This is pretty crazy. This stag right here is definitely looking like he has a lot more life in him than this one. And though we are going to leave both of them to hopefully grow, I would not be surprised if this guy doesn't make it, and this one does because it already seems larger, and the coloration on the antlers and his fur are definitely way less worn than this guy's right here as this one decides that uh, he's all ready to go six feet under, but he's only halfway there it seems. But I definitely think that this guy's got a chance at being a monster. And we've possibly got ourselves a couple culls as well that we might want to take out at some point. So I guess we will keep quite a close eye on this herd and hope that they end up growing some giants because there's definitely a couple that could be monsters. But while we wait for those guys to grow, I think in the meantime we will go check some of the other locations that I've seen some red deer herds and hopefully we can end up finding a giant out of one of those as well. Because it would be crazy if we could get both of these to grow to a 5 star along with finding another 5 star just randomly on the map. That would be absolutely amazing so hopefully we can make that happen today. You know, from here, I can't really tell how big this is, but it definitely seems to be at least a four star from what I can see, at least. It also looks like it's a very old stag, looking very gray around the neck. I hope this is as big as I think it is, because it looks to be either a four or a five, and I mean, it's right in the middle of the road. How cool is that? You know, as I'm walking over here, I just realized that I made a pretty bad mistake and forgot to access the storage of my vehicle to get more ammo after my last hunting session that I did while I was live streaming, so I've only got four shots. And I suppose we'll save those for four stags, provided we can find four that are going to be uh, shootable. Definitely think we can do that. This river is relatively loaded, and once again, we are hunting kind of like along here now. Uh, this area is one of the better places you can go to when you have um, access to uh, just the public land. Although I believe it kind of enters private land at about this location that we're currently at. But it's still an area where you can find lots of stags. Wow, that guy is a four star. That is incredible. So we do have another four star to keep tabs on. I can't believe that. That is so many possibilities of getting another five star. It, it, that is absolutely insane. Let's go ahead and put a mark like roughly in this area so we know where to come back to. That is just absolutely incredible. You know, in the meantime, let's take down this two star mature. I definitely want to get him down. Uh, hopefully we can get some better genetics animals into this herd once we get him out of there. This could become a pretty crazy herd provided we can get that level 4, I, I guess, 4 star to come back as something insane. Man, this is a tough angle, but I think we can probably get this into maybe a spine? I mean, it's definitely a hit, but I don't know if it was as solid as I would have liked. It's possible that he might not die from that, and if he does, it might take a little while. Well, unfortunately, had a game crash, and I don't know where it's going to set us back to. Uh, hopefully, it didn't set us back too far. I would have preferred that we got to see if we made that shot, but I, I suppose we'll see shortly. Okay, so it did not set us back too far. In fact, it looks like it set us back to right after we took the shot. Yeah, definitely was right after we took the shot. Yeah, it's looking like the crash caused the shot not to count and instead they just spooked, I guess? Well, that's unfortunate, but I mean, it is what it is. I guess we'll just continue watching these stags and uh, keep tabs on them as we go check some others. Oh my gosh, yes, let's go. One of them grew to a five star. 
Already we've got a five star. We've got ourselves a five star stag right there to go with the five star stag that we got earlier. That is amazing. Now we just gotta hope that the other one is still alive and that it is also a level five or a, a five star. I gotta get used to saying five star instead of level five as I'm used to call the wild terms. My gosh, that is incredible. I can't believe it. We're actually gonna get to take down a second five star red deer. And for this to be happening with red deer makes it even better considering they are my favorite species. I cannot wait to get this guy down. We gotta get up close and uh, get a good look at him. Now the big problem we might run into here is the wind direction. Now it's definitely not terrible as of now, but provided we move up a little bit, with it blowing in this direction that could pose an issue. But I think we'll be able to see them all before that becomes a problem. Well, there's the other one. He's still a four star, so we can go ahead and take this five star down and then come back later and see if that four star ends up becoming a five star as well. This is going incredibly well, and I think that that one right there that turned into a five star is the one that was looking older, so that's really good. That means there's a pretty high chance this guy will become a five star as well, and I think the next time we come here, uh, provided he doesn't die, he'll probably end up being a five star. That is so incredible. This is honestly the dream hunt for me in way of the hunters, being able to take down multiple giant red deer. I absolutely love red deer and I think they did such a good job with them that it just makes me so happy to have a few different five star trophies showing up. Such a nice change from early access where during that period I wasn't able to get hardly anything good for the red deer and to finally have some is just amazing. Now we definitely don't want a situation like with that other five star that you guys saw earlier in this video where we ended up hitting the tree. I don't want that to happen again because that was absolutely terrible. And I thought for sure I was going to lose him because of it. So we're going to be extra careful to make sure this guy's out in the open. That is our five star right there. You know, honestly, we can take this shot. I think this is our opportunity. Let's get him down before he moves. That was a solid hit on a beautiful five star stag with that massive four star running off beside him. That is such a cool sight. I can't believe it that we managed to get a second one. Oh, I might have spoke too soon. That shot actually might not have been as good as I thought it was. I felt like we hit him good, but it appears it missed the lung. Which means we're going to have to chase after him, and that is really the last thing that I wanted to have to do. But I guess we really have no other option. I don't want to risk him dying from a time re reset, so we're going to have to risk it. Yeah, unfortunately that is a bad shot, which really sucks for us because now we gotta trek through the woods and find where this guy ran off to, which is never an easy task with the red deer. They tend to run up into the trees very deep and that makes it difficult to figure out where they are. Well, there's the four star, so the five star has got to be close. I'm glad that we found them relatively quickly. In fact, they're not that far away from where we shot him, which is right down there. For once, the red deer didn't run a bazillion meters. It seems like they actually did just stop right up in these trees, which is good to see. Now, the question is, where's the five star and will he give us a clear shooting lane between all of these trees as this is a very brushy area? That's him, apparently. It seems like that is our guy right there. And honestly, that's a pretty clear shot at him. Yeah, it's definitely him. You can see him bleeding. We are going to attempt to squeeze a shot through here and hope we don't hit the tree. I think we should be good at this angle, but I might move up slightly more just to be sure as I don't want to risk it. We've had so many things go wrong with this hunt that I just don't want to risk another bad shot. But I think now should be the time where we can actually get this guy down. I just want to make sure that we don't screw this up once again because things have just not been going great for us. And just like that, we got a vital hit. He's finally going down. Five-star red deer, number two. Within the last two days. That's crazy. You know, in Call of the Wild, finding two diamonds in two days is actually not that difficult of a task once you understand how the need zones work and uh, how to do stuff like multiplayer hopping and herd management. But then you go to a game like Way of the Hunter where a five-star may not show up for 
20, 30, even 40 hours of game time, or not game time, but actual in-game hours playing the game. I spent 77 hours during early access and only managed to get, I believe, three five stars during that entire period. And now that we've restarted, I've put over 35 hours into the game, and this would be, I believe, our fourth five star. So it's definitely difficult, but I like that. I think it's really nice because it's very rewarding when you finally do get a good luck streak and find multiple good trophies. And imagine if we could possibly get this guy to turn into a five star. And I'm talking about the four star that's in this herd. That would be amazing. And there he is, our beautiful old five star stag. That is absolutely amazing to see. And I really can't get a good picture here, but let's just go ahead and pick him up. I want to know, is this guy different than the other one we killed? I think it is. This one looks a little bit different than our other 5-star. And this one has 99% genetics as a 464. So this guy just barely made it. However, he did make it into 5-star. So honestly, I probably could have let him live even longer considering he's 99%, but... I'm not too worried about it as this guy does look different than the one that we have already killed. So that is really the only thing that matters to me. But my gosh, that was such an incredible hunt and hopefully we can get those other two to turn into five stars as well. But I think we'll save that for another video considering how long it took to get this guy down. So let's jump into the lodge and taxidermize this guy. I cannot wait to see these guys side by side. This is going to be one of the most impressive taxidermy mounts that we have built so far and yeah, that's, uh, ooh, that's not good. Uh, well, that sucks as I just spent quite a bit putting him there. To be honest, I could have swapped them around and they probably would have fit better. That sucks. That That's a little unfortunate. So we're going to have to save up some money and swap those around as that is not ideal. But I do think if we put that guy there, it would fit a bit better. Just unfortunate that there is some clipping issues on this mount. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this red deer hunt, and also let me know what you guys would like me to hunt next. I'm definitely going to be keeping tabs on those other two four-star red deer and checking in the next couple days to see if they end up making it to five-star as well. Uh, but other than that, let me know what you guys would like to see and I'll try to respond to as many of the comments as I can. With that being said, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!